Oh, hello there. How you doing? My name's Adam. Welcome to my channel, A Duda Reviews. Um, today, I'm going to be talking about Disney Plus Day. More specifically, the Marvel segment of the Disney Plus Day. Yeah, they, they showed little sizzler trailers, as they call them, of some upcoming shows and also showed just like titles of shows that are going to be coming out like a little bit further on down the line. But uh, yeah, some really good stuff there and I'm really excited to talk about it with you and let's get into it, shall we? First of all, I'm going to talk about is Moon Knight. Um, this looks amazing from the little clips I've seen and from the little photographs I've seen that have come online. Um, it stars Oscar Isaac, who is like a well-known actor nowadays. He was in Star Wars, he's been in Dune and many other films and he's uh, like a good actor and shit. Um, it also stars Ethan Hawke, who is like the bad guy in it. I'm not exactly sure who he's going to be playing, but apparently um, it's going to be, he took his inspiration for the villain from a cult leader by the name of David Koresh who was a central role in the Waco siege of 1993. So yeah, information that I got from Wikipedia. But yeah, so I'm gonna just watch this little teaser trailer now with you and then talk about it. So just so I remember what it's about. Okay, go. I can't tell the difference between my waking life and dreams. The voice in your head. It devours you. Moon Knight. Original streaming. Serious streaming. But yeah. Yeah, right, okay. So that was that little teaser. That looked amazing from that little teaser. I loved the, the voice he did. that really made me sort of chuckle a little bit because, hello, it's me, Moon Knight. I'm going to get you. I'm going to have vengeance upon thee. So, but what I, I sort of gather that the story is based on, because I, I never read it as a kid. And uh, he actually appeared in some Spider-Man comics. I remember him like just appearing, but like I never really knew anything about his background. But apparently... The story of Moon Knight is quite an interesting one. It's something to do with uh, dissociative disorder or something like that. So he has like split personalities. And um, that was, I think the sort of the whiny voice was one of his personalities. And then obviously you saw the sort of scene where he's dressed as Moon Knight, punching some dude. Um, very reminiscent of Batman. A lot of people say Moon Knight is the uh, Marvel's Batman, but I, I couldn't back that theory up because I don't know, because I've never read it. But yeah, it looks amazing. Um, I love the whole sort of sort of he suddenly wakes up in the middle of a, a fight and he's just sort of like his eyes have glazed over and he realizes like, what the fuck? Where am I? I've just beaten a whole lot of people up. So that whole sort of um, thing just looks really interesting to me. And um, obviously it looks very cinematic. And I like that idea. Um, and yeah, 2022, this comes out and I can't wait for it. Next up, we have She-Hulk. Now, this one also looks really good, and it uh, stars the actress Tatiana Mas Masolani. Uh, she's a Canadian actress. I have never seen her in anything before, but apparently she's pretty good. Um, so yeah, let's have a quick look at this and see what we think. I'm Jennifer Walters. I'm a normal lawyer. Well, not that normal. These transformations are triggered by anger and fear. Don't make me angry. You, you wouldn't, wouldn't like, like me when I'm angry. Okay, so from that, once again, very small teaser, um, but she's a lawyer. Um, I do remember her from the comics vaguely. She, I did, I think I did have a couple of comics of, of her when I was a kid. Um, and I know that like Deadpool, she likes to break the fourth wall. Uh, within the comics, so she talks to, directly to the reader kind of thing. So I think they're going to be doing the same sort of thing here. Um, indicated by that little scene where she was with Bruce Banner. Um, 
And it was, uh, they were all dressed in 70s clothing and she says, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry, which was a direct reference to the 1970s Hulk TV show, which I used to watch as a kid. I'm not from the 70s, I'm not that old, but yeah, I did used to watch the reruns as a kid and yeah, and that was his tagline. It was like, you wouldn't like me when I'm angry. And then he turns into the Hulk and just fucks everything up. But yeah, the CGI on She-Hulk herself looked pretty good, I, I think. They got the um, the outfit right from the comics too. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to this. There's a lot they can do with it. And then I'm really sort of down for where this goes. So this is probably like my second most anticipated of the new ones they've announced. Um, just because I love Hulk. I really I always used to love Hulk as a kid. I hope they get rid of Professor Hulk and all that whole thing during this because I'm so fed up of that sort of got Hulk in this in a suit and just being all sort of he's kind of a bit of a dick in in um, Endgame I, d I don't really like his old persona the way he acts I just rather have Savage Hulk who just goes around tearing shit up and just beating people a new one but yeah so that looks good up next we have Miss Marvel not to be confused with Captain Marvel Miss Marvel is like a little girl type Marvel and she's has some stretchy powers or something. I've never read her stuff either. I'm aware of her. I know that she has like stretchy arms and big hands and shit, but she is going to be played by the actress known as Iman Vellani. And yeah, so let's just watch this and see what we think about this. Oh shit, afford it. Go. Kamala, let's talk about you. It's not really the brown girls from Jersey City. You saved the world. Wow. Maybe now they do. I got this right. Totally. I mean, that was a very short teaser. So what could I get from that? She is a Muslim, which is cool to see. Have a little bit of represent representation going on. I think that's all good. I think the more representation for more people out there, the better. Why the fuck not? You know what I mean? What's the problem with that? There is no problem with that. Um, I don't think this is going to be something I'm necessarily going to be into because I don't think it's aimed at my demographic, i.e. my age range, because obviously the, the main um, protagonist is a small young girl. So it's like... Could I really be like rooting for a small young girl and put myself in her shoes kind of thing? Probably not. But it also looks pretty good visually. There's some nice sort of little effects going on there. The sort of the purple power shit that I don't really know anything about. So I know nothing about this basically, but it looks okay from that small teaser. Now those were the three sort of main teasers they showed. They also showed a sort of a larger, lot longer teaser of the new Hawkeye. Uh, which I won't show now because, but it's out there, you can watch it. It's a longer um, one, but that actually looks really good. At first, I wasn't really into the whole Hawkeye thing because Hawkeye is, I mean, most people's least favorite sort of Avenger because he was such a sort of like kind of a lame Avenger. But this series has sort of um, tones of die hard to it because of the whole Christmas theme and um, this sort of a buddy cop type of thing going on with him and the younger girl who is um, sort of being trained in the ways of the Hawkeye kind of thing by him. I'm not really sure of the whole plot within that whole series, but <clears throat> visually it looks good. It looks like there's a lot of action in it. Um, it looks quite funny. Um, and for some reason the whole, I'm not even a Christmas guy, but the whole sort of Christmas theme does seem pretty good. I like a good Christmas theme movie. Like I say, even though I'm not a Christmas guy, but yeah. So the new Hawkeye looks pretty good too, but that's coming out very soon, I believe. Um, 24th of November, I believe. Then we had the various different list, lists and titles of the new upcoming shows, such as Secret Invasion, where we saw a eye patchless Nick Fury. Um, and it looked pretty cool, actually. Um, then we had X-Men 97, a continuation of the, the, nine, the 90s cartoon. And like, I used to love that cartoon when I was a kid. It was so good. And um, 
yeah it's going to be like a continuation on that apparently and apparently they're bringing back the old voice cast as well so like rogue was my man she was probably like my first crush or something and she was calling everybody sugar and stuff man i love that but yeah rogue is in it and just like yeah love it um what else we got agatha house of harkness now i'm not really hyped for that one i must admit starring katherine hahn but I'm not really sure when that's going to be set, whether it's going to be set after the events of WandaVision or it's going to be like maybe like before when she was in a co coven or something with the other witches or something like that. Uh, whatever, yeah, but I'm not overly fussed by that. Spider-Man freshman year. Now, I'm a big Spider-Man fan, but this also doesn't really seem to push my buttons too much because it's once again going over spider-man when he was young and like his just getting his powers and da, da, da. like we've seen that so much we need to see spider-man as a adult for god's sake let's see him as a man because like when i used to read him in the comics he was a full grown man he was barely in high school that much when i like i think i had a few comics where he was in high school but that was like the really early ones but the majority of it he was like a, a fucking full-grown man like working for the daily bugle and stuff like that so it's like what's going on but with this but then again, it could be could be really good, but I'm not sure. I'm not so sure about that one. I Am Groot, also another one I'm not overly, it seemed very childish, but then again, once again, it could be good. I could be proven wrong, I'm sure I will be. Guardians of the Galaxy Christmas special. Maybe that could be fun, I'm not sure. Um, Echo, now that was one I had no idea what that was about, never heard of it before, but apparently she is Kingpin's stepdaughter and she was in a lot of Daredevil comics um and she's also going to be appearing in the new hawkeye show apparently um so that is a complete mystery to me iron heart i know nothing about really riri williams um she took on sort of an iron man role in the comics i believe i didn't read that either marvel zombies i'm definitely looking forward to that was fun that was definitely a fun read and um they also showed up in um what if the first season of what if um, the zombies in that so that should be good and what if season two because what if the, the first season i thought was really good i really enjoyed that um it got better as it went on and i think season two it can build upon that and just really like go for it hopefully maybe like tweak the animation a little bit so it's not quite so clean i think i don't know the animation looked a little bit too clean for me i think it just needs to be a, a bit more edge to it but yeah, overall, that whole sort of Disney Plus Day thing for me personally was a success because I love my, my MCU stuff. And that's the only stuff I actually cared about anyway, to be fair. Um, and they had some really good stuff there, especially Moon Knight is, the, is like the thing I'm really looking forward to the most. I think that's going to be something else. She-Hulk, close second. Let me know what you think about the Marvel side of the Disney Plus Day down below in the comments. And... I thank you very much for watching. Thanks for taking the time. I really do appreciate it. Love you very much. God bless. Goodbye.